Hey my friend Jean-Serge Gagnon here and today we're going to talk about growing your Facebook growing leads using Facebook challenges how do you use Facebook challenges what are the simple steps to get a Facebook challenge off and started and done what are the things you need to do to actually get to the point where you have your Facebook challenge right so we're going to talk about a five-day challenge obviously the different kinds of challenges but we're just going to talk about a five-day challenge because it's the easiest thing you can do and I'm going to kind of talk about the steps to get there but before that first this so the real question is this what are the strategies techniques and tools that you need to learn to generate residual income from the e-learning boom that's happening right now my name is Jean-Serge Gagnon and welcome to Course Income Secrets. So you know a Course Income Secrets about Facebook challenges five-day challenges obviously if you're having a course maybe that's one of the things you want to do with your challenge you want to actually sell your course right or generate residual income or generate affiliate sales or whatever it is okay we're going to talk about the simple steps the easy the simplest way for you to do a challenge so you can get it done like start it next week right we're going to talk about that before we get into that though I want to remind you if you're listening to the audio of this you're going to want to go check out the video you're going to find it at cis383.jsgagnon.com where you're going to see the blog post and the video so you can see because I'm going to be sharing my screen and all that so make sure you go check that out all right so let's get right to it I'm going to share my screen right now I'm going to kind of start with okay so you're on Facebook right so you're on Facebook now obviously this applies to other platforms but I'm going to talk about Facebook because Facebook is the most now I guess the easiest way to do these challenges they have the groups they have everything set up you can like I said you can do that and translate it to any other platform that has these these parts if you will right you need to be able to have a, a ability to create a group you need to have the ability to either upload videos or do lives in the groups you need to have the ability to add people to the groups and find people that are in the platform right so obviously uh, if you're using it on a plat yeah like you can't easily do that in Instagram it's not impossible because they do have group chats and stuff but like it's easier in say Facebook or LinkedIn right um all right so let's get let's get started let me just show you what I'm talking about here so here is the simple steps I got five steps right here there's more that you can do but these are the most important things or the, the things you absolutely need if you want to do a five-day challenge right so number first number one why do I put this as the first item right choose a schedule you gotta choose a schedule if you if you you know do everything set up before it'll take you a lot longer to get there believe me that's called procrastination if you set the schedule right away it'll force you to get the stuff done and even if you're not completely finished of everything you wanted to do you can still start and you know complete some of the things that you need as you're going right because really doing a challenge is not that complicated all you do is you have a group of people that are watching and listening and following your your you know um tips or strategy or whatever it is you're teaching and we'll kind of get into that in a second but basically you are setting up something that starts on a certain day and ends on another day so just pick that schedule right pick the schedule and decide when it's going to happen where whether you're going to be uploading videos or doing lives whichever way you do it you got to decide on a schedule so that people know what to expect because you know in the group you're going to have to say what it's about when it starts when it ends what to expect the days you know all those things kind of have to be done right so it kind of comes automatically when you make the decision right so number one make the decision number two have a topic with results your participants will get after five days there's no sense in creating a challenge when there's no results at the end right where when it's just when it's wishy-washy and there's it's not specific people want to know what they're gonna get out of giving you some of their time I mean if it takes them 15 minutes an hour half an hour whatever it is per day to go through your challenge you better have something that they're gonna want you better have a result that they want and you know I'm not talking about 
uh, having a product or things like that I'm talking about the results that they get because as you know building a business online a bit a business is not about a product that's being sold it's about a result that customers get from that product right so you gotta have a topic you gotta have a topic which means <clears throat> basically um being able to say what it's about what is the topic what is the you know the the one thing when we talk about um uh, funnels and things like that there's also a, a concept called the one thing so you have a phrase that they see they know what it's going to be about and whether they want to attend or not obviously you want your target market to you know see that phrase and think oh my god I got to do that right so that's what it is okay so now number three you have to plan out the day plan out the five days right so that each day gives them a win and takes them closer to the end result now this is one of the most important things in a challenge in a five-day challenge if it's a 30 day then it's every day for 30 days right so every single day there has to be a win and it has to be specific okay today we're going to do this we're going to talk about this we're we're going to get this result for you today right every day they get a little win a little result if they don't get a win every day after you know two or three days they're going to be you know not interested anymore because they're not they're not feeling that they're accomplishing anything right they're not getting closer to the end goal it's very very important for you to figure out a win that they're going to get that day and it's just as simple as saying you know say for example you're talking about weight loss losing 10 pounds at, you know after five days I don't know if that's possible but let's say it was well you would want them to have a win every single day now it doesn't mean that they have to lose two pounds every day right even if that's possible and that was true losing two pounds a day every single day the same exact win would be kind of boring so you got to come up with other things they'll win like for example maybe on day one they'll they'll win they'll come to realize what their current you know reason for the weight gain is you know maybe they'll learn how to keep track of calories maybe they'll learn how to um you know how to set up a, a, a an eating log right maybe they'll learn how to use a tool online that lets them enter their their eating uh, habits in an app on the phone whatever it is day one could be that right and then day two could be you know how to figure out the foods that will help with weight loss you know give them a list they'll have a list they'll have a an, an app that they can use they have so and then day three could be you know how to reduce those cravings uh, they they learn how to reduce a craving they learn how to how to be strong you know how to how to not get bothered by the, the their spouse or their partner eating chips when they're not supposed to you know those things so each day has to have a different kind of win and if if you can make that win tangible that's even better right if it's something physical or something they they will be able to see or or hold in their hands even right or whatever whatever it is the the more uh, tangible it is the better <laughs> all right so that's number three planning out the five days so each day gives them a win all right and takes them closer to the end result then the number four tip number four is have an offer at the end of the five days to help them get more faster results now obviously you could do a five-day challenge with no offer at the end with no reason for them to continue connecting with you or whatever and that would be fine but the purpose of most five-day challenges is because you're trying to you're trying to find customers right you have a product you have something you're selling you have a, a, a mentorship you want them to join you have a, a Facebook group that the, the subscription group that's a paid group you have a, a mastermind you're going to be putting on you have a course you're selling you have a software they can use you have a book to sell you know whatever it is you find out what that is that but that offer at the end has to be very very congruent with the five days otherwise they're going to be like why would I want that I just you know I just learned how to lose weight why would I want a a book on on you know gardening <laughs> yeah okay gardening is great you go outside and you exercise more and maybe you that's how you lose no that that it's not connected enough it has to be specific to the challenge so the idea you know if you really want to uh, think it think about it think about what it is you want to offer and then build your challenge from that that way you won't have to you know you don't come up with the challenge first and then the offer after it's the other way around right you know what it is you're going to be offering 
right you know the product or the service or the opportunity or whatever it is that you're offering at the end right you know that and then what happens is you come up with a challenge that will give them some of that well actually sorry before that you know the offer you know the thing you're selling or the right then you have to figure out what it is they're going to get out of it right so if you're selling a weight loss coaching program they're not going to get a coaching program they're going to get you know they're going to get weight loss but they're going to get you know people looking at them thinking they're sexy and you know uh telling them that they that they look so good they're going to get the feeling of being you know in control of their life right they're going to get the feeling of of their ex being jealous of them now right they're going to get the feeling that those things that they get the you know it's not like you know that's one of the things that they talk about when you're talking about what you get just think about what that gives you right so make it another level another level of uh of of results right so the results you get would be you know like uh, and we're going to cover one what I'm doing with my stuff but <coughs> the result would be weight loss right that's the result but it's not what you want to focus on when you're talking about what they're going to get you, they're going to get confidence they're going to get you know feeling good they're going to get you know to to throw out those those baggy clothes and get some new new smaller clothes right they're going to lose uh you know feel feel like everybody thinks they look great in their new uh outfit or or whatever those things are and right? I'm not I'm not a big uh, weight loss person so I don't really know exactly those things but you know I hope you get the idea all right so and then of course the last thing you need to do before the the bare minimum I guess you know the basics of what you need to do is you need to set up a Facebook group and a cover photo so you have to have a group that people can go and join and you have to have uh, a cover photo on there and a description and all that other stuff right that lets them know what it's about right so they'll they'll on there you're going to have when this when it starts uh, how long it is what kind of results you're going to get those kinds of things that's all going to go in uh, the cover photo all right so for me I'm actually doing that right now I'm actually starting a challenge and the reason I I'm doing this episode is because I want to force myself into doing it as well right and I kind of want to show you the process of how you can do that right so how you can do that so here's the thing so if you are um right so yeah so this is what I'm doing right oh oh before we get into what I'm doing let's talk about the bonuses now other things that you might want to do that you don't absolutely have to do because you can still run a challenge without doing all these extra things but they certainly will help with scaling if you want to have more than you know 10 20 people in your group maybe you want to have an email list an email campaign right you might want to do that you might want to create an opt-in funnel for them to add to your list so you make sure you don't you know miss out on <coughs> getting back to them afterwards that kind of stuff uh you you're, you're going to want to attract people to your challenge and how do you do that right you're going to want to set up your Facebook profile so people know what you're doing and you're going to want to engage on people and your target marketing to get them to see what you do so those are other things you could do and you probably should do if you have time but even then you know the the secret like I said is just to choose a schedule and get it get it going and do at least this if you can't do the rest do at least that because that is what will make the challenge actually happen right whether it's whether it's the best or the most successful uh sorry about that uh, burp is you know whether it's the best or the most successful or not you know of, co of course this stuff will make it even more successful but it's not as critical right so for me what am I doing right I'm doing a challenge so number one choose a schedule I'm doing it starting Monday December 6th to Friday the 10th and it'll be at 7 p.m eastern I'm going to do a live uh let's just say with live at 7 p.m so now what happens is that every single uh, night I'm going to do a live at 7 p.m 7 15 maybe right 7 to 7 7 15 like that so I'm going to do that every day for a week right that'll be when I do it and that means that in the group I'm going to be posting a video a live video in the group telling people what that day is about and 
and yeah and that's the schedule so it's, it's happening you know in, in a week from now so that means I have a whole week to prepare everything else that I need to prepare I'm going to prepare some of it right now with you but there's stuff that I'm probably going to want to do to prepare more right okay so have a topic I have to have a topic what is my topic I'm kind of still working on it right now but you know basically me it's about getting learn how to find 20 plus hot fresh leads from groups in five days so I want to do a challenge on how to find 20 plus hot fresh leads now when I talk about hot leads that's a language that my target market understands right so it's the difference between a warm lead or a cold lead it's a hot lead so how do you find 20 of those that means they're hot that means they're ready to hear what you have to say they're very likely potentially interested in buying your stuff right so all that is you know you know anyways that's my topic right so that's my topic <laughs> and I still have to figure out some more maybe some more wording for that but that's oh, sorry that's basically what I'm going to be doing in my five day challenge by the way if you want to join my challenge obviously I'm going to have a link and you're going to be able to ask me about it but uh yeah so that's kind of what it'll be all right so then you have to plan out your five days you need two things for every single day there should be two things at the bare minimum that you come up with you got to decide on the topic for that day and what is it that they're going to win for that day now I just wrote this really quickly I'm probably going to update some of this a little bit but it's kind of the basic idea for my five-day challenge right so day number one is going to be a preparation of the profile update preparation and let's just say and profile update right this is what I want so profile would look right so basically on my day one you're going to go and we're going to set up your profile so that when people go visit your page they know what you're about not necessarily what you sell because that's not the same thing they're going to know that you're about something right so maybe it's uh if, well let's not get into that. okay so that's kind of what the first day is what it is because you know if somebody is in my challenge I want them to they they what their challenge what they want is hot fresh leads right they want hot leads they want them to be every coming every every day right so they want them to be fresh leads and they want them to be hot leads so how do you get hot and fresh leads you can get lots of cold leads that's not too hard to do you know cold leads cold leads is one one thing that's that's taught by everybody out there you can get cold leads pretty easily what I'm teaching is how to get hot leads right so I have to make sure their profile is set up so that people that come to them get warmed up to become hot right and that's why you have to have a profile that looks right that people will know what you're about and whether they want to connect with you or not right okay so the day number two we have to make sure that we know what the avatar is what is this is and this is just you know just my challenge like I'm saying it's not what you got to do in your challenge but in my challenge it's going to be defining the avatar and finding groups where that avatar is in right so that's the way I teach how to how to get hot leads right so you got to go get them in groups but you got to make sure you know who your avatar is because otherwise you're going to be joining groups no matter right it's going to be just random groups no matter what right so on the win for that day is going to be they're going to have requested access to groups and probably have have some groups that they're already joined right because that doesn't take that long for lots of groups <laughs> day number three um I'm going to show them how to engage on profiles in groups now you might not you know if you're if you're listening to this you're thinking what what is my challenge you might be thinking well what does he mean by that you might be thinking that's easy well yes it is but there's there's certain things that are specific to what I teach that I'm going to be covering here and then I'm going to and and then what that's going to do is it's going to make them see notifications <laughs> of new people in their uh on their Facebook right they're going to see notifications uh, of these new people these new people that they didn't know about before so they're going to be you know warming up leads they're going to be people they're going to be warming up right and on day four you I'm going to show them how to have conversations with people that are actually warming up to them right to make them hot leads right so out of these conversations you're going to convert them into hot leads and you're going to get new hot leads you know from the beginning of the week kind of thing right uh 
and then on day five we're going to do even more with a tool we're going to show you a tool we're going to install that tool we're going to show you how to use that tool to even make this even more you know an amazing uh process right so that's that's what it is for me it's those are the five things that I'm going to be teaching I'm already 20 minutes in I haven't even done anything other than just talk to you about this stuff so now have an offer at the end of five days for, for me my offer will be uh you whoops join me in a six-week master class to and uh to <coughs> learn more about traction marketing traction marketing personal per personal branding and content creation to grow your your leads and sales <coughs> so that's going to be my offer something like that anyways I gotta clarify it a little bit more sir but <coughs> the cough I have a, a a bit of a cold or something I'm not sure but yeah so you're gonna um um that's gonna be my offer at the end now at the end your offer could be you know join this affiliate program or they could be uh learn you learn how to how to lose weight get in my in my um coaching program right it could be buy my course whatever it is right so for me it's going to be this uh, master class and then uh, number five we're going to set up a group and a cover photo so let's actually do that right now I'm going to set up a group so let's make sure I have the right group so now if I think about my topic right learn how to find 20 hot fresh leads from groups in five days I want to create a challenge a group that matches that so let's just copy that down here okay so um let's just say how to let's make the group like this how to find 20 plus fresh hot leads from groups that might be a good a good uh, topic a good group name let's go see if I can create that so first let's go in here and let's go into the Facebook plus thing whoops it's over here actually uh create a new group right I want to create a new group and I'm just going to call it this how to find 20 plus hot fresh leads from groups in five days privacy always always make it private you do not want to have a public group for a challenge and you could potentially hide the group it really depends on the kind of challenge you're doing like for example I in the past when I did a uh, appear live or a live challenge a challenge to learn how to overcome fears to do a live video right I made the group hidden because I didn't want people to to I didn't want people to be able to find the group and then see who's in the group because some of the people in the group don't want to be seen right they don't want others to know that they're there right so that was kind of what what I did there uh, but I'm going to make this visible and I'm not going to invite anybody yet but I'm just going to create the group and um and I'm just going to now we want to do a cover photo right so let's go in Canva so in Canva oh, by the way there's a like what what is best Facebook cover photo size right so that's the thing so one of the things you got to remember is that in Facebook a cover photo see it says 851 by 315 right so I can do a picture like this um and so what I'm going to do so 851 by 315 just remember that the, the way it displays on a phone is not the same as the way it displays on a desktop so don't put things around the edges right just make sure it's a it's a cover that doesn't have look edge stuff and things right so if I go in here and I just go and I say uh new create a design right in Canva I just say uh, custom design oh right here custom size and what did we say um we said it was 851 by 315 so I'm just going to do 851 by 315 that's quite small but anyways create a design create the design so now I have I'm just going to create a brand new 
uh cover photo for this this I'm going to do it right here you're going to see how how the cover photos can be done pretty easily with Canva right so I can just go like this I can go into say for example this one oh that's pro I gotta become a pro there I'm, I'm using a free account so just forget that so let's just go and use one that has a picture and that's free just want to have a picture inside of a maybe this one <clears throat> Here, this one here oh that's another pro <laughs> they make it uh let's just do this one uh, anyways like I said it doesn't really matter I'm just going to use this one here and then what I can do here is I can replace that picture with my picture under my uploads I have my picture and a bunch of other stuff where's my picture my picture you see it oh there it is right here so I'm just going to take this and put it there instead right now I can probably resize that there you go now that's going to be my picture on the side now the thing you have to remember is on Facebook this is going to look with <coughs> you know <coughs> maybe the background I don't want that background that color let's change it to another color I don't know let's make it uh, like I like these blues right like this blue here or maybe this blue there we go okay so uh of course the text is there I just replace it I'm just going to say uh three five day Facebook challenge okay I'm going to resize this so it fits in here and then I'm going to put in here uh my text right I have yeah how to find okay so now you can just I can just resize it make it smaller probably make this a little bit bigger like this and move that right here actually I'm going to move that a little bit because I want it to be on to there and then this one is going to be uh what can I say for this let's go back to my uh my document my notepad so what do we have to oh maybe I can put the day the days the day the day topics right so I can do that in here instead of this let's put oh actually I should not have so I'm just going to put so this is going to be the I don't want the whole thing so I'm just going to take that because you know I'm not using a so I'm going to make this like this make this take that out of there you know since I'm not using a spreadsheet or whatever I gotta kind of do this I'm gonna make sure whoops engaging on profile on the right profiles huh? so I'm just going to copy this for now put that in here like that and of course we're going to make this smaller text make this a little bit like this and I think I have an extra carriage thing that I don't well it probably doesn't matter okay so I'm going to put that in here and then we're going to make this uh, box fit in that area behind it so it looks kind of part of it and make that go here and like this okay so um now this this is just like I said it's a very simple very in initial very 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 quick obviously the the image you choose everything else you know uh, is whatever but this is just to give you an idea right so I'm going to download this now and I'm going to just uh pu put that in on to my let's create an, a folder I think I don't have a, a page for that because I'm creating it so Facebook uh, hot leads challenge all right so that's the name of that and I'm going to save it right there okay so now I have a cover photo that I saved I can go into here and I can edit this and uh whoops that's, that's opening up my chatting here why is that doing that go close that edit this I'm going to upload a photo and we're just going to take that picture in here it's under Facebook hot leads challenge and I just put that there yeah I don't know why I'm getting this weird error on my 
desktop I can't upload a picture well actually let's see if I can post it let's see if I can post it or not because that might work um here's learn how to get hot leads hot leads in Facebook groups <laughs> okay from Facebook <clears throat> sorry about that cough like I said it's pretty insane I've had it for a while anyways I put that there and see if that'll work and I'm just going to post it as a picture hopefully that'll post and then I'm going to be able to use it as an image there it is okay so edit choose choose from group photos okay this one oh great that worked okay so as you can see it's fitting there's no there's no nothing but let's save this and then let's go look at that in my on my phone let's go to my phone and let's go to my groups my groups and the one I just created here and I go to that group and so look this is what it looks like here let's me go back just to full screen and this is kind of what this is what it looks like on the phone right so it's actually not too bad you can pretty much see the all the days and everything else in there maybe the fonts need to be changed and whatever but at least you can see the picture and as you can tell my face right uh on the desktop here right on the desktop you see the whole the whole face but you don't you don't see it on the phone when that's fine right you don't need to see it on the phone you need to see at least what it's about you know basically on the phone we we're seeing this let me do a, a screenshot of this on the phone we're seeing right about right about here yeah right about there to right about it's actually up to here so on the phone we see that right so we see that on the phone which means enough the title is fine but the image is cut right on the sides so that's one thing you got to remember so whenever you're doing a cover photo for a group make sure that you keep the most important stuff in the middle there right so that uh it's it's uh <laughs> <coughs> so it's visible what the group is about okay so now we have the group what's the next thing I had on the list here I had the so we have this uh, I'm going to save this file okay so we have that now we have an offer at the end of the five day to help them get more or faster results I already have my offer defined and then I set up the Facebook group which I just did and then the next stuff is setting up an email list and creating an email campaign maybe maybe I can do that next week um time to kind of show you more about this because we're already like 33 minutes in so I think that's and you know obviously once you have your group there's there's ways that you got to get people into the group right because that's and maybe I I forgot I should have put the dates right on there let's actually do that um let's actually do that let's go back to canva oh it's over here so I'm going to go back to canva and I'm going to add the dates in there so let's just add some more text under text I'm going to put uh a, a, you can do a bunch of whatever right I can let's do this and I'm going to put December 6 to 10th 2021 and I'm just going to make that smaller right because obviously that's 12 December 10th probably too small let's just uh, make this there. I can put that right here like this actually let's resize it so that it we got this right here the date and let's just uh, move this because it actually looks better if I move it a bit from here move this as well I'll move it I guess like this 
okay so december 6 so learn this is actually going to be learn learn how to find in just five days just 20 learn how to find hot actually you don't need the 20 plus here we'll just do hot fresh leads and I'm going to make this uh small <clears throat> uh the color I don't like the color of this brown is like make it a red let's make it red I'll make this red as well <laughs> <coughs> and the font is a little bit too dark let's make it this one day one this one like that okay that's going to be a little bit probably a little bit more readable so I'm just going to save that again it's December 6 to 10 that's right eh? isn't it December 6 to 10th yep okay download again I'm going to save that download it again and I'm just gonna re over I'm just gonna overwrite it I don't need the other one yes and I'm gonna go back to Facebook and I'm gonna upload that again and I'm gonna do this again actually let's take the text right out of this just five days and we're going to take this out of here here and then add a picture that picture to it there you go and then post it and then we're just going to go back to here and we're going to change the cover photo again choose from group photos Do I have to reload the page or something? Maybe. <clears throat> and I'm going to edit. Choose a photo. <laughs> hmm. <clears throat> there we go. This one here. And save it. Okay, so now I'm going to just go look at the uh on the on the phone right see what it looks like no oh, it actually updated right there you can see right there now it says the dates on there right and the, the this text is a little bit more readable maybe but uh yeah so that's that's how you set up your group and of course now we got to invite people into it we got to make sure the description set up right and all these different things and I'm going to get to to that but hopefully you enjoyed and if you have any questions of course you can always reach out and if you want to get in this challenge of course go ahead and find it or send me a message and I'll send you the link have a great day we'll see you another next time this has been course income secrets the entrepreneur's blueprint to generating income from the e-learning boom. Some of your friends need to hear this message, so don't forget to share. For more content like this, go to CourseIncomeSecrets.com and make sure to subscribe and follow us here. My name is Jean-Serge Gagnon. Until next time.